There are pants. Hello. Hello. We are Annie and Constantine, and you are watching another episode of... You know, updates. And if you're acquainted with the Arabic number system, you may have realized that it is a special episode because we've entered the double digits with episode number 10, which is very exciting because it feels simultaneously like we've been doing this since a while now and still at the same time like we've started just yesterday. According to math, our 100th episode will happen on June 1st, 2017. Our 1000th episode will be on August 31st, 2034. And the 10,000th episode will be on February 26th, 2207. Math! But that was a rapper move. But back to the present. No, actually back to the past. This week has been a rediscovery of past projects. For example, La Mukteur, our neo-noir indie student no budget short film has been reactivated and is now undergoing extended VFX treatment and the final touches of editing. La Mocteur carries the subtle subtitle The Best Student Film Ever Made and ironically was started at the time where neither of us were students but we've waited long enough and now we're both students again <laughs> so it's probably a good time to finish a movie we started two years ago. Traveling back 20 months wasn't uh, good enough for us because for the very very special occasion we have been digging on our heart Drive, so I have been digging on my hard drive and I found a thing pretty cool and exciting thing that we want to share with you This thing has never been on the interwebs in this form ever ever ever, ever. So flashback to June 2006 picture Anne and Constantil still fresh, still young, still full of idealism, still with the hopes and dreams for a better future. Like we aren't all of these things still. <laughs> like even more so than we were then. Picture a bus. Said bus was traveling at the time from Rome, Italy back to our Bavarian German hometown place after a school trip. The sizable drive took a full 17 hours. So to pass these dreadful 17 hours on a bus we took turns telling each other the story that we made up then to deal with the experiences of Rome, Italy mostly and because we were both deliriously tired and cramped into a bus. This one was the very first collaboration between the two of us. Really. It was the starting point of Constitutional Anarchy way before Constitutional Anarchy ever existed. Nine years ago. But it didn't just stay a story that was told on a bus because Konstantin secretly turned it into an animated film for me. And this animated film has been a secretly secret. This collaborative masterpiece is called Peaches of the Caribbean and is uploaded with this video here because we haven't put out that much creative content in the last weeks and because it is such a festive occasion we thought share it with the world world, world. it's over oh everywhere we just put the thing all over the screen it is in german but we have subtitled it but only in english not like too many other languages but if you want to send us the subtitles for other languages i will totally add them this is basically the best thing that has ever happened. Perspective change! One cannot live in the past, or one can also not live in the future. Because how would work that work? It was a time machine. But then the future turns into the past, into the in present. The present, into the exactly. Future. You can only live in the present, so live in the present. Peasant. It's kind of mean. <laughs> you don't know their life. Speaking of the present, we shot a little bit of the depression episode situation thing. It's still a little bit difficult because air remains in short supply for me. I'm taking medication things. I still smell like eucalyptus, but it's not making things go away. If you are an aspiring pulmonologist, pulmonary person who likes lungs, you should give me a call. And last but not least, we are planning on going to September in <laughs> Berlin. Going to Berlin end of September to shoot Berlin Mitte 20 episodes. Actually just to have a couple of nice days in Berlin but we're going to disguise it as a business trip. That's the cool thing about being artists and filmmakers because anything you can do you can disguise as a business trip because it's all inspiration and if you take a camera then you know you're doing things. 
So many exciting things in the past and the present and the future. And uh, we also had an epiphany, as every week. And the epiphany today is, sometimes you feel dumb. Also, vegan pancakes are where vegan stops being fun. Speak for yourself, I like the vegan pancakes. Vegan pancakes fall apart. Is vegan pancakes a metaphor? We're gonna turn that into like a turn of phrase that people use when something's like made to break and like super not working. This relationship is just vegan pancakes. It's also a perspective thing because I actually like the vegan pancakes. But maybe vegan pancakes is just a thing that somebody likes and somebody dislikes and both is true. Everything is vegan pancakes. That's a beautiful That's a epiphany. Beautiful epiphany. <laughs> that is gorgeous. <laughs> We're poets, man. I'll take magic and witchcraft and faith healery. Faith healery. Someone who heals you by believing they can. Any faith healers out there, give me a call. I will totally give you credit next video. If I'm healed, if not, if I'm, if I'm worse, I'm going to say mean things about you next video. If I can't speak anymore, then we'll need to move on. <laughs> you shouldn't threaten the faith healer. <laughs> well, no, I'm saying if they're gonna like voodoo curse me or something, that would really suck. We only want nice faith healers, not like faith destroyers. <laughs> Help! <laughs> we are so far off track. <laughs> Hello. Hello.